October 2014, this seven-year-old male in Tech Shetland comes in for dental scaling. Now, before doing anything, weigh, I weigh the dog first, so that I know the dosage of the sedation drugs. Then after that, we take the rectal temperature. Rectal temperature is normal. So these are the two things to be done. After that, then uh, do a physical examination. So basically start with looking at the color of the mucous membrane. Now as you can see, mucous membrane, the capillary refill time, capillary refill time is, uh, is uh, less than two seconds. Okay. Now this dog has bad breath and, and uh, periodontal disease stage four, where the gums are receded, as you can see there. Normally, they, they shouldn't be exposure of the roots, but the roots are exposed, and the tartar is very thick, as you can see, for this primolar fall on the left side. On the right side, on the right side, I will show, I will examine the dog. Now he's a bit uh, nervous. On the right side, come, come, come. Sit, sit, sit. On the right side, just have a check first. You can see the canine to all exposed gums. So with the with the tissue attachment loss. So this is a great four periodontitis. Now this tartar is not so thick here, but uh, you can see it's not thick. For seven years, there was no dental scaling. Now uh, overall, this is gingivitis, tissue attachment loss. Normally the gum line should be up to here. It should be the horizontal line like that. But uh, now the roots are exposed and uh, there's bad breath. But overall the dog is is uh, in, in a normal condition. So now I'm gonna check the heart. Check the heart and the lungs. This is a part of physical examination. The lungs. Check for lung sounds, abnormal lung sounds. The left side and the right side. This side will be the other side. The heart sounds are normal, although it's irregular. The lungs, there are no lung sounds. Then I check the abdominal sounds, intestinal sounds. There are some sounds from intestinal contractions. After that, I do the palpation. Palpation is more for the abdomen. So abdominal palpation to feel any enlargement of the liver or spleen or tumors. Because this is a seven-year-old dog, uh, there's no, no swelling, no pain kidneys and liver and spleen are, are normal, no enlargement, bladder is normal, check the testicle, testicle is normal, no pain, and so overall, on physical examination, this dog should be okay for general anesthetic and surgery. Now the owner said that one of his friends, the dog had died after dental scaling, after going home, so he didn't want to go to that bed. So it's important that dogs don't die under dental scaling because this affects the, the reputation of the vet and uh, the owners will not, uh, will, will not want to send the dog to any vet who's, who have deaths under anesthesia. So to do anesthetic for this dog, old dog, they should have minimum sedation. The less, the better. And then use isoflurin gas and uh, Normally there should be no deaths. Uh, the best is an IV drip with uh, antibiotics inside before the, the anesthetic. That should be the best. So other than that, we check everything. The, the temperature, the heart rate, the pulse rate. And uh, this dog is normal and should not die under anesthesia. So now we will proceed with the blood test which the owner doesn't want. X-ray the owner doesn't want, so we will just, uh, based on physical examination, that this dog should be okay for GA, but we will run the drip before anesthesia. Okay.